For more full-length yoga classes, join me on bananablondyoga.com. Let's begin sitting in a comfortable cross-legged seat. For this class, I'm going to recommend that you have a couple of blocks handy. And we're also going to be using either a yoga bolster or a nice firm pillow. Now let's come all the way down onto our backs. Bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall apart wide. You can use some blocks on the outer thighs to support the legs here. Or you can also use some pillows there if it's more comfortable for you. You can take your hands and massage your inner thighs gently, helping them to relax open. Or you can just rest your hands right at the crease of your hips. Let your eyes close. Allow everything to soften. The jaw is nice and relaxed. Taking deep breaths into your belly. Really allowing the belly to fill up and expand with each inhale. And then allowing it to deflate and soften with every exhale. And throughout today's class, we're going to be focusing on this diaphragmatic type of breathing or belly breathing. Take a deep inhale into your belly as you soften your pelvic floor. And as you exhale, lightly engage your pelvic floor. And again, inhale as you soften and bring your knees up towards your chest. We're going to keep the knees nice and wide here so that we're not putting any pressure on our lower belly. It's nice and free to continue with that belly breath. As you breathe, I want you to focus on softening the pelvic floor with each inhale. Filling up the belly. And with every exhale, just a very light engagement there. Go ahead and slide your hands in between your thighs and your calf muscles. Continuing with this belly breathing. Continuing with this awareness at your pelvic floor. So this class is going to be focused on releasing the muscles in the pelvic floor, finding that softness there. And sometimes we need to have that contrast of just a little bit of engagement so that we can feel what it means to release and soften. So as you continue to breathe in this position with your eyes closed, take your awareness inside your body to the pelvic floor. Let's straighten out just the left leg on the ground here. Keeping that right knee bent, you can move it open to the side to create a little more space in the belly. Now, as we continue with that belly breathing, I want you to let go of the engagement element. And each inhale, you're gonna fill the belly up, softening the pelvic floor. And on every exhale, I want you to imagine any tension in the lower part of your body, just exiting through the pelvic floor. Go ahead and switch legs. So drawing that left knee in, extend the right leg out long. 
can let that left knee open a little bit to the side, creating a nice spacious area for your belly. Inhaling, filling the belly with the breath, relaxing the pelvic floor and exhaling. Everything is soft, any tension just leaving the body. Keep your gaze inside your body, focusing on the pelvic floor, allowing it to soften and be supported. Now draw both knees up, keeping them wide. I'm gonna grab onto the outer edges of your feet for happy baby here. You can also grab onto the ankles if the outer edges of your feet aren't accessible to you. Wherever you are, I want you to root your tailbone down into the mat. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Make sure there's no tension being held in the neck or the tops of the shoulders. We are continuing with that belly breathing. Good. Notice if you're holding any tension in the jaw, see if you can just soften that, let it go. And release your feet or ankles, place the soles of the feet onto the ground. Let your feet be almost as wide as your mat and your knees fall in towards each other so that they touch. Place your hands on your lower belly and continue with that belly breathing, really noticing the rise and fall of it with each inhale and each exhale. There's no tension anywhere in your body. You can completely let go. Just softening into the support of the earth. And let's very gently roll over onto your right side and come on up, we're gonna make our way into all fours here. Align the shoulders over the wrists, knees under the hips. And I want you to just let your belly hang a little bit for now. Usually in yoga, we're talking about engaging the core and sucking everything in. But today we're going to let it be soft and just let gravity take hold. You begin to sway your tailbone from side to side, moving nice and slow. And then come to center, tuck your toes and come into a downward facing dog. Feel free to keep a nice bend into your knees if you need to. Push your hands into the floor. Breathe into the length of your spine here. Tailbone is reaching up towards the sky. Just taking some deep breaths. Inhale and take the right leg up to the sky. Bend the knee, roll the hip open. Take a deep breath into your belly there. And as you exhale, let's step that right foot forward between the hands and lower the back knee down. Now this is a great place for the block. So if you have them handy, go ahead and place them underneath your hands, walking them back by your hips. 
Relax your hips down towards the floor. Soften your pelvic floor. Just allow gravity to do the work here. Now place both hands on the inside of that front leg. You can keep the blocks under the hands. See if you can relax the hips a little more deeply. Again, don't worry about engaging too much. We are just softening today, releasing. Good, now let's take the blocks and set them aside. And go ahead and come back into your downward facing dog. And this time we're gonna inhale and take the left leg up to the sky, bend the knee, roll the hip open. Take a deep breath into your belly. And as you exhale, let's step that left foot forward between the hands and lower the back knee down. And go ahead and take the blocks underneath your hands, walking them back by your hips. And let the heart stay lifted as the hips relax down towards the earth. And just let everything be soft, your belly, your pelvic floor. Allow your arms to support you. Now we're gonna take both hands to the inside of that left knee. You can walk that left foot out to the side a little more if you need more space there. Soften the hips a little bit more towards the floor, just letting gravity do its thing. You can close your eyes if it helps you to relax. You can always go back to that belly breathing, focusing on the belly. And then set the blocks aside. We're going to come back into child's pose. So take the knees nice and wide, almost as wide as your mat. Bring the feet towards each other and lower the hips to the heels, relaxing your chest and belly in between the thighs. And really nice option here is to take that pillow or yoga bolster in between the legs and allow yourself to rest on that bolster. Notice your breath here. Just continue to relax and breathe in child's pose. And then we're gonna gently make our way into frog's pose. I'm gonna use the bolster here. So I'm just scooting up a little bit, relaxing my torso and chest on the bolster. My knees are extending directly out from my hips. Ankles are right in line with the knees. You can keep your feet flexed. You can even double up on the bolster or pillow if you need a little bit 
less intensity in frog pose. We do want to feel a nice deep stretch on the inner thighs though. But we want it to not be oh so intense that we can't soften into it. Now if you're a regular yogi and you want to ditch that bolster or pillow, you can go for it. Otherwise, I think the bolster is a really nice addition to help you truly soften and find that surrender in this intense posture. Wherever you are, come into the breath. Close your eyes and take the gaze inward. So deep inhale into the belly as you soften the pelvic floor. And then as you exhale, just letting go of any tension in the body. All of that tension just exiting through the pelvic floor. Good, now pressing down into your palms to ease your way out of frog's pose. We're gonna come into Malasana, yogic squat. Now, if you're one of the many people that have a tough time getting the heels to the ground here, you can place the edge of the bolster or a folded towel underneath the heels. Another variation would be to take a block or two, stack them on top of each other, and sit on them and just let the knees open wide here. Your spine is nice and long. Crown of the head reaching up towards the sky. And the tailbone is nice and heavy. And again, here as you work with your breath, you can go back to that slight engagement of the pelvic floor. So as you inhale, we're gonna soften the pelvic floor, breathing into the belly. And as you exhale, if it feels okay for you, you can very lightly engage the pelvic floor just to experience that contrast. Good, and then go back to the inhale and softening. Good, if you wanna take a little twist here, go ahead and twist open to the left, extending that left arm to the sky. Keeping breathing into the belly. Come back to center, hands at your heart. And taking the twist over to the other side. Nice deep breaths. Come back to center, hands together at your heart. Now we're going to lower the seat to the earth. This is a great place to use that pillow or bolster. I'm going to be sitting on mine, so placing your sit bones onto that bolster or pillow. Now we're going to be doing a breathing exercise here called box breathing, or sometimes people may call it square breathing. We're going to inhale to the count of six, hold for the count of six, exhale for the count of six, and hold our exhale for the count of six. So go ahead and inhale, two, three, four, five, six, hold, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, hold your exhale out, two, three, four, five, six, deep breath in, two, three, four, five, six, Hold, relax your shoulders, three, four, five, six. Exhale, two, three, four, 
five, six. Hold the exhale. Don't allow any tension to come into your shoulders. Five, six. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six. Hold the breath. Two, three, four, five, six. Exhale it out. Two, three, four, five, six. Hold at the bottom. Three, four, five, six. Inhale, deep breath. Three, four, five, six. Hold at the top, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale it out, two, three, four, five, six. Hold, two, three, relax, five, six. Good, deep breath in, no more counting, just straight inhale. And exhale, let it out. Good, let's take another deep breath in. And as you get to the top, we're gonna to take a lion's breath. So extend the tongue out to the chin and exhale through the mouth. Let's do that again, deep breath in. Exhale. Lion's breath. Good. Again, inhale. Exhale, lion's breath. Nice. And let your breathing come back to natural. We're going to take some head rolls, so go ahead and drop the right ear to the right shoulder and slowly roll the head forward, taking it all the way over to the left. Keep the heart lifted and then roll it back on over to the right. Good, moving nice and slow, pausing in any spot that needs a little more attention. Rolling it from side to side. Oftentimes, tension in the neck and the shoulders can be related to any tension we hold in our pelvic floor. So it's very important that we address the entire body when we're looking at helping any sort of dysfunction in the pelvic floor. It's never just one area, right? Everything we need to look at holistically. So taking just as much time and care, softening and releasing tension in the neck as we do in our lower body and pelvis. Good. Now bring that left ear towards the left shoulder and you can use the left hand to give it a little bit of a stretch, lengthening out the right side of your neck. And then dropping the chin towards your left breast, using the hand to lengthen out the back of your neck. And then release, bring it on over to the right, lengthening out the left side of your neck. Using the breath here. And then dropping your nose towards your right breast, lengthening the back of your neck. Make sure your jaw is nice and soft here. Come back up to center, and then we're just gonna give ourselves a little bit of a self-massage here, using the left hand to massage the top of the right shoulder. I like to support my left elbow as I do this with my right hand. I know that I tend to carry a lot of tension in the tops of my shoulders, and this can definitely turn up in your pelvic floor. 
And you can go ahead and switch sides here, massaging out the left side of the shoulders. And then let's take it into our neck. So bringing your hands to the back of your neck here, using those strong fingertips to massage your neck, releasing any muscles along the spine, maybe moving into any tension in the back of your head there. Good, now let's take a couple of head rolls again. Noticing if we have a little bit more freedom of movement in our neck. A little more softness in the shoulders. Good, now circle the shoulders back a couple of times. Interlace your hands behind your back. Just opening up the chest gently. Lift the chin slightly. Take a deep breath into the upper chest. Exhale, let everything be soft. Release the clasp of the hands, bring them to your lower belly and let your eyes close and return to that belly breathing for a few moments. Each inhale, we soften the pelvic floor, allow the belly to fill with breath and every exhale, releasing any tension out of the body through the pelvic floor. Continuing with those rounds of belly breathing. Now I want you to take your yoga bolster or pillow and we're going to place it behind us on the mat. Just bringing it up towards your seat. We're going to lay down lengthwise on it. Bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees open wide. You can use those blocks underneath the thighs for a little more support if you like. And this is gonna be our final resting position, so make sure that you're comfy. I like to give myself a massage on the inner thighs and just gently let go of any tension that I'm holding on to there. Taking those deep belly breaths. And then eventually just letting the hands rest on your lower belly. Allowing your eyes to close. Your jaw is nice and soft. No tension in the neck or the shoulders. The heart is open. Deep breath moving freely throughout the body. No tension in your belly. Your pelvic floor is strong, but relaxed. Everything is soft. You're able to completely surrender to the support of the strong earth beneath your body.
allow your breathing to be natural. Shavasana. Feel free to rest here in Shavasana for as long as you like. Or you can sit up in a comfortable position. Find a nice straight spine. Feel your sit bones root deeply down into the earth. Feel the crown of your head reach up towards the sky. Everything is soft and strong. Bring your hands together at your heart and gently bow your head. Namaste. Namaste.